somewhere just east of the setting sun lies a ranch named after the Tongue River, a place where buffalo once roamed freely and true cowboys plied their trade in the rising dust of Texas cattle pens. These days, a century after our ancestors tamed this hard scrabble country, a new generation of ranch hands and trail bosses still run cattle in the old tradition. It's a hard job, but most guys out here wouldn't do anything else. Cowboys don't make much money. They're just in it because that's what they want to do. But there's sure not any money in it. Brian Asher admits he's chosen a rough edge sort of living, but hard work suits his stoic and weather-worn character just fine. You see, cowboying isn't a job you can just up and quit. It's a way of life and a way of putting food on the Asher family table. Still, the paychecks don't always add up to the monthly grocery bill, and somehow, Brian had to squeeze a few more greenbacks out of the cowboy life. I always carry my camera with me and uh, try to get pictures to work from, to draw from. I usually take 20, 30, maybe 40 rolls of film and uh, hopefully get one or two pictures out of those that'll be worth drawing. When he's not swinging a lariat, Brian Asher mans a point-and-shoot camera, hoping to capture the essence of the modern-day cowboy. Now, he's no professional photographer, never claimed to be, but Brian is an artist in his own right. Back at his homemade studio, these snapshots become fodder for his own brand of cowboy art. I've been drawing since I was a little bitty. I never aspired to be an artist. I think it was uh, all I ever wanted to do was cowboy. But uh, I guess when you get to, you know, up in your mid thirties and you've cowboyed all your adult life and you're, you're uh, starving to death, you need to figure out something else. And that's, that's how I got started with this. When it comes to pencil work, Brian Asher knows how to get the lead out. Not that his creative process is quick, quite the contrary. His calloused fingers work day after day and night after night, etching every last detail into his portraits of the plains. As much time as I have in one, by the time I finally get it done, it feels pretty good to finally be finished with it. It gets so monotonous, it's, it's, it's sickening. You just gotta get up and leave it a lot of times. But when I finally get one done, it's, uh, it feels pretty good. Brian, how many pencil strokes do you put into each of these? I have no idea how many pencil strokes I've got in one of these, it's just, I don't, I don't know if, if a lot of this, if you could even call it strokes, it's just such fine, tiny, tiny marks, one on top of the other. The hair on this horse's neck, I'll try to get such fine detail in there that I'm down to drawing nearly every individual hair. So, you know, asking how many pencil strokes is in one of these is about like asking how many hairs are there on that horse's neck. You know, it's, gosh, I have no idea. This bona fide Norman Rockwell of the range is no stranger to hard work, whether he's toiling in the pens or with his pencils. While Brian set out just to pay the bills, he ended up illustrating a new chapter in the history of Texas. Now for collectors and connoisseurs of Western art, these photorealistic renderings keep the cowboy legend alive. The pictures I draw are, the, are of the men and the horses and cattle that I've worked with. And that's, you know, that's what I'm trying to capture in my pictures is, is the contemporary working cowboy, not something that happened 50 or 100 years ago. 
the only reason a cowboy is cowboying is because he loves what he's doing. Now I'm not getting rich doing this either, but at least it's paying the bills. And I still like the cowboy. <laughs>